And welcome back, guys. Welcome back to more Final Fantasy XII. The Zodiac Age. Last time, we got our asses beat slightly. Only a little bit. I mean, it was a pretty close fight up until the last... The last few, uh, few minutes where it was just a mad scramble to try and stay alive. Unfortunately, we did not succeed. But we will be back to attempt that later. The Gill Snapper has defeated us for now. But we will be back. And, uh, yeah, so we're just going to proceed with the story for a little bit, chaps. We're going to head south from Giza Plains into an area called the Osmone Plains. And, uh, and get to this place called Jahara. Because there is actually a hunt we can do in the Osmone Plains, but we'll need to go chat to someone in Jahara first. Where the hell is the exit? Oh, this way. Is it? Yep, this way. Cool. So, for now, we're going to say goodbye to the to the wet marshland that is the Giza Plains right now. Uh, it really does sort of remind me of uh, the swampy area in the first Jack and Daxter game, actually. Maybe just the color palette or something? I don't know. Gives him, giving me those vibes, though. But we're about to say hello to a very, very pretty area. The Osmone Plain. Which totally just screams me and high road to me. From 10. I love it. I love this place. So luscious and green. No rain, which is nice. Again, I'm sorry. I don't mean to stare at Fran's ass. Oh, but flying enemies are going to be a bit of a pain. Oh, no, they're not. Not with Althea and freaking Fran in the party. Oh, look at that little bunny. Little bunny wabbit saying hello to us. Let's murder it. The Osmone hair. Runs away. And rightly so. I would fucking run too. How cute is it that these enemies know an ability called War Song? Oh, wow. Okay, so we have... Uh, are they werewolves? I think we possibly could have fought similar enemies in uh, in the Giza Plains. These are called Zagnals, which... Oh my god, the Zagnal from FF9, the big bull thing. Dude... We're fighting those. We are so fighting these guys. Eh, nothing too tough. I mean, physically, they're, they're no slouches, but compared to what we have just been fighting, this is like a cakewalk. And it's, uh, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of nice, but good XP. Very good XP. Oh, I've got all oh, these are zoos as well. Oh, so many staple FF names. Love it. Oh, this place is so much friendlier and cheerier than the Giza Plains right now. And this is a very nice bit of music too. Which I know I've said about pretty much every music track in the game so far. Uh, right, so... We don't have a map of the area. So we're going to do some old-fashioned exploring. Uh, now, I think in this zone, or this area in as a whole, there will be random snakes popping up out of the ground. Which are never, never fun. Because they're kind of scary and snakes are just terrifying in general. At least to me, but... Uh, they might give some decent loot. <laughs> Yeah, War Song. That is, that is so adorable. Here we go. Oh, there we go. The Speak of the Devil. Yeah. Pretty easy, though. Pretty, pretty freaking easy. More of these guys that uh, are related to the Giza Plains enemies. An Iron Carapace? Carapace? How do you say that? I've always just thought Carapace, but I... Well, I don't know. Dark moat. Not. I haven't done any really, any any real research on the chests in this area, so we're just gonna pick what we find. I don't know what these machines are though. What's that supposed to have been? 
Again, though, reminds me of the Meehan High Road with its ruins and... I mean, the only pro the only thing this place is missing, really, is, uh, is Machen. That amazing dude that likes to talk in the most amazing old man voice ever. Uh, I think we've pretty much explored the whole place, have we not? Apart from the horses down there. Uh, there might be a chest down there, we'll go see. But yes, we need the license points, we, we need the XP. <laughs> uh, but I can't wait to get to the next sort of town, because that will unlock new equipment and items for us, I think. And like I say, we are sort of approaching an, uh, a point in the game where we can grind for a decent money-making piece of loot. So, probably going to do that too. And then, then we'll have the, a few rematches on our hands with a few of the hunts. And also the demon wall that I want to go back and beat. Quite looking forward to that, actually. Even though I've struggled with that fight in the past. I'll be interested to see how it is on this version. Loving Fran with that bow, though. That is a massive help. And also, it's just great that uh, spears can actually reach these flying enemies now. A potion? Is that it? Dude. I mean, a part of me wants to have opened that with with uh, with Vaughn to see if there was anything better, but... Ugh. Come on, it's it. I mean, it's kind of annoying, actually, that the camera being the way it is, you, you can't really see the, the enemies that are flying above you, or at least not all of them. Because when you zoom out, it automatically sort of goes to a bird's eye view, if you will, and you still can't really see them, but oh well. There's not too many enemies like that, really. But for the most part, I do like the, uh, the camera in this game. Fran now level 21. Well done, Franny! Well done. I would swap you out, but uh, you're kind of useful right now, so... Oh, Vaughn, level 21? Well, I will swap him out. Alright, into the next zone. I got woken up this morning by uh, some very, 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 very noisy builders next door. They must be doing... I think they're doing some scaffolding work on the, uh, on the back side of the house. And uh, that is where I sleep now, so it was, it was quite loud. I mean, in all honesty, I'd had enough sleep anyway, but still, it's the fact that I was not... It was not my choice to wake up. Although, again, it, is, is it ever really our choice to wake up? That kind of happens regardless of if we want to or not. So I don't know what I'm talking about, really. But my point is that I got up earlier than I would have done, and... Uh, been quite productive today, recording-wise. Got a lot done. So, it's time we gave this game some love. Uh, also, uh, another thing that was kind of amazing, I looked out the window just before I started playing this, and uh, it's snowing quite heavily, which is the first snow I think we've had this year. Uh, first snow in ages, and I, I'm, I mean like proper snow. Like, it is sticking and everything, and uh, I don't know how long it's going to go on for. I know the, the forecast was that it was going to be really freaking cold this week. And so far, they've got it spot on. It's been bloody freezing. Not in my room, though, with all my freaking electricery, but... Uh, we go downstairs for, like, a snack, and oh, it's freezing. It's cold. I do envy Max of his, his long, luscious coat, which really does need cutting, actually, but uh, I think that would be an act of cruelty if we did it now. Although he always thinks it's an act of cruelty anyway, that's why we have to take him to the bloody vet to get it done. Um, yeah, let's kill these things. Looks like we have two exits to go out of, possibly. I don't know which one I'm going to choose. Storm Magicite.
Yeah, I wonder what's uh, what's been going on in this area. I'll kill you. In regards to all the random crap we've been finding. Whether it's old machinery that's been abandoned, or if it's the remnants of a structure, I don't know. But the Osmona Plane was uh, also in some of the Tactics Advanced games. And from memory, it kind of looked very similar, actually. Although, obviously, not in this lovely rendered detail. Or quite the same scope, but... Yeah. Evil East really is a cool place. Right, so we've gone south there. Oh, in fact, wow, we had a number of ways we could have gone. I think... Ah, the Osmo... I wonder if there's some caverns down there. That kind of looks like it's leading to some caverns in that other zone. Well, well, we'll explore eventually. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. I did want to make some progress with the story. And that's gosh darn it what we're going to do. Oh, wow. Black chocobos, guys. Black chocobos. And they are actually enemies in this game. Which, I don't know how I feel about it, really. I don't know. I know you could technically attack chocobos in previous games, like Seven, but they'd always run off. They wouldn't be angry at you from the get-go. Black chocobos are usually cool things that we want to ride and fly about. But, oh, look at that. If that isn't a Final Fantasy Seven throwback, I don't know what is. Proper chocobo tracks. Gotta love it. And uh, they seem to be heading into this brush that we can't go into ourselves. I wonder what that will mean for us. Hmm. I wonder. But yeah, I'd love exploring this place in real life if it weren't for these fucking snakes coming out of nowhere in the ground. Ugh. No, thank you. You know, you got some horses. Oh, look, another Jahara dude. Let's help him out. Oh, that horse is berserked. That is one crazy horse. Right, so, let's see. We pretty much explored the rest of this zone. With that dude being around here, I'm guessing we're close to the exit to Jahara itself. Oh, we just got another serpent rod. From a serpent! How appropriate. Lots of money, more black chocobos. I don't want to fight them! I don't want to. Some chocobo feathers, though. I think they're mostly just for selling. I don't think you can use them to cast haste like you might have been able to in other games. No. Yeah, I think this uh, this must be the way to Jahara, so let's check it out. Land of the Gareth. I, I, I don't know if... Have they said um, how to pronounce that word? I think it's the Gareth. Yeah, they are pretty, pretty impressive, intimidating looking dudes. There's some Moogles here. Ah, Cartographer's Guild. Yes, we might want to buy some maps. 1,700 guild for a map of the Osmone Plain. Are you having a giraffe? Ha! <laughs> a gi oh, Almost worked, didn't it? Almost! We'll buy a map of this place, though. I mean, I could afford that Osmo and Plane map, and I kind of almost want to, but at the same time, in this version of the game, the maps aren't quite as crucial. So long, Koopo! Oh, look at Ger Gertie! How are you doing? Ah. You know what? I might rent a Chocobo soon, because we've not really seen them. And uh, 30 Gil is... It not only sounds fair, it sounds like theft. Like, on my part, as if... I mean, that is really cheap. Compared to this this dude selling maps for bloody people's entire life savings. A gate crystal, thank God. Yes. 
And again, are you ready for it? I like the music in this place. Very tribal and imposing. We have heard it before, actually, but this is where it's supposed to be heard. Who are you? This is Garifland. No place for Hume children to play at games. Oh, hey. Oh, he's vouching for us. So them cross the Osmond Plain, they are warriors of great distinction. The fiends of the plains trouble them not at all. You've goddamn right they didn't. Oh, it's the, it's the war chief himself? What business you have with a Gareth? Uh... I don't, I don't know, actually. We kind of just want to talk to you about some... Some stuff? Of the Nethersite variety? Wow. So, can we go in? Many Humes wandering through our lands today, eh? Alright, well, thanks, pal. What a great honour it is. I, I don't think they just let anyone stroll in here. What's his name? Supinaloo? Supinaloo? Supinelu? Supinelu? I don't know. I have not made introductions. I am su 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 uh, war chief of this village. Gareth have been friends to all since long ago. However, lately the human world is in much turmoil. You, you got, yeah, no kidding. I can understand that. The war chief and protector of our village, I ask you, why have you come to this land? Yeah, a bit of a long story. Yeah, you must speak with the elders. Yeah, you kind of all look the same. I didn't want to say that because it makes me sound incredibly speciest. But, uh, or speciest. Spe I don't know. The point is, they all look fairly similar. Luckily for us, we have lovely name things popping up. Oh, they got some training going on here. They do look, like, physically like they would destroy us. I hope we don't have to fight one. I, I, I would not fancy my chances, especially Vaughn. Look how skinny he is. I mean, I know he's got those rock-hard abs that don't look like painted on cardboard anymore, but still. Yes, we would like to find your elders. Where the hell are they? So, this is the uh, the Gareth village, Jahara. There's not too much going on. I think there's a shop over here. We'll see if we can buy anything. Uh, please take your time. The world has much of it for the take. Oh, for the world. Okay, yeah, whatever. Let's have a look. Oh, you sell everything. Oh, yeah, new weapons, guys. New weapons. Oh, boy, do I... I really need some LP and money. Let's sell our stuff first. That would make sense. Right. So, let's... I'm still not sure about the Arcanas, whether I want to sell those yet or not. But everything else... Downwards, I think we will do. Braid Wool sells for a lot. Holy crap. But yeah, this music just screams pride and power, doesn't it? It's always one of my favourites from the original soundtrack. And to my ears, it doesn't really sound like they've changed it too much in this, uh, this reorchestration. Selling that Storm Magicite. Oh, there. That's, that's some good money right there. Fire Magicite. Dark Magicite. And Chocobo Feathers, which again, sell for a lot of money. Awesome. We should get some stuff in the bazaar now. Yeah. Please be something decent. Traveler's Garb. And nearly 4,000 for the Golden Garb. Three-piece set includes an ornate breastplate. Ah, that's the Golden Armor. That, yeah. Grab that. And a shield. Ooh. That is going to be useful for someone. And I, I think those are as well. So let's just let's quickly, uh... Oh, monographs, eh? As a merchant, I would love one, if only I knew where it might be found. Monographs? I don't really remember them. I think they must unlock good stuff in the bazaar, but... I have no idea where to find them. Anyway, let's quickly just, uh... 
see who wants to equip the golden stuff. I'm guessing Balthier or Bash, primarily. I reckon Bash, actually. Oh, I'm, I haven't unlocked him on the bloody license board. Ah, Come on. we got tons of points now, anyway. We can start spending. Uh, that's a lot. Now, I did get some quickenings uh, in the last video with... Uh, I think like Pinello and Ash, but because I died, those have reset, so I'll have to get those again eventually. Um, dum -dum 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 -dum. Where's the golden shit? Oh, I can equip the golden shield. Where's the... There we go. Awesome. Well, we might as well unlock a few more things, get a few more accessories unlocked. Um, some more shields, and oh, that's about it. I didn't have that many points. Christ, thought I had more than that. What's this ability? Soul Eater. Well, grab that. That's a proper uh, dark. That is pretty much darkness, isn't it? The, the typical dark knight move. Very nice. Uh, Ash. Gain MP after taking damage, you're goddamn right we will. So we're on her monk board right now. Let's get her some more HP. Every little helps, and if I could find myself... Are there any more magic laws about the place? Battle laws. Well, they're, they're decent, they're decent. Definitely. She can equip some light armor now. So, just options-wise for people, so many more things we can do. It, it, it is kind of overwhelming. I, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Potions. What about a black mage one again? Anything else I want to get here? I mean, gambit slots. Spellbreaker, can't afford that. Um, any more magic I want to... In fact, yeah, I haven't even checked what magic we can get, so let's just quickly go see what else we can buy. I know I haven't equipped Bash yet, but I will do. I will do. Um, hmm. Yeah, what magic do you have? Stoner Fire. Yes, please. And bleed. Some nice time magic. Okay, we'll get all these. Did I get everything else? I think so. Um, same sort of skills there. Don't need to worry about those right now. Accessories. Again, apart from the Black Belt, which is going to help against uh, some of the hunts we've been fighting. To sleep too, that'd be nice. Increase magic power when HP is full. Increase strength when HP is full. Oh, so many good things! But soon, guys, we will have so much money, we'll be able to get everything we want. But right now, we're just gonna have to prioritize slightly. Um, I'm thinking maybe we'll get the flame tongue. And we'll equip it now. Never got around to using the blood sword yet, but. Maybe, maybe. Flame staff. Yes. And mm, do we want to get? Do we want to try an axe with uh, with Vaughn? Because I know we can equip axes now. Or well, should I get a pole for Ash? Or do we just no, we didn't just get the flame staff? Hmm. You see mitres. I think we got one of those, yeah, but I... I don't know. It's a mace. Can Pinello equip those? Still won't be able to. Um, the Paramina Crossbow. I usually find those off enemies. I can't remember which enemies I do get it off, but that's a pretty decent weapon. Hmm. Well, for now, I'm actually just going to leave that, because we, we really do need money, so... 
Let's just equip everyone with the best shit. Oh, Bash, you are going to be the proper tank now, my boy. Oh, yes. And a feathered cap. I think Ash needs those a bit more than Pinello right now. And both of you can get the iron armor. Okay, so it's not much improvement there, apart from Bash, of course, but again, we will be getting so much money very soon, I can't wait. Now, who do I talk to for the hunt? Because I want to do that soon. The Enchilados. You're some Gareth Herders. You would be correct, sir. You would be correct. Yeah, good. Good for you. Good, good on you. Cool. Thanks for telling me that. Totally needed to know. What's up here? You are the human the war chief has spoken of. You have crossed the plains to learn of the stones, yes? Guromu. Where are the elders? Are, they, are these the elders? He's a warrior. Oh, hello. Yes. Welcome to our village, protected by the clear flow of the Sagot. Sagot? Sajot. Uh, oh, you're his brother, Kadalu. That's a nice name. Uh, he seemed to be holding his own, although we did sort of help him out. You're an elder, though. I have business with you, don't I? Okay. Yes. You don't know anything? Oh, no. Who, who, what Hume child asked you? What do you want about? Okay. Don't know who he's talking about there. Oh, look at these things. They're like... Four-legged choker sheeps. You are not the only one who has asked me about this. It saddens me to admit I know nothing of the stone. Well, what a load of good you are, then. Oh. The High Chief. Well, he will be with Geomancer Ugelu? You, you, you I don't know. Weird names. Nanas. The best livestock in all evil. It's no part of the Nana goes to waste. Yeah, they look pretty docile, pretty dopey. Aww. I bet they smell awful. Worse than chocobos, probably. That's one thing I've always wanted to know. What does a chocobo smell like? Does it smell like a sheep or a chicken? I don't know. And sadly, I'll never know because they don't fucking exist. Uh, the elders could not help, no. They didn't know jack shit. But yes, we will meet with this great chief. Oh, really? It's nice to see Ash in a cutscene. Yeah, I mean, we do have the, uh... The Dawn Shard now. Wait, do we still have it? Oh yeah, we picked it up again after the big explosion. Yeah, that's right. Wait, do we not? Wait, I'm confused. I thought we still had the Dawn Shard. I'm, I'm confused. Oh, but they've let us go anyway. Okay, thank you. Wait, I'm just going to check my inventory. Do we not still have... We have the manufactured nether site. Yeah, we do have the Dawn Shard. Well, maybe they don't really give a shit about a shard. They don't see that as proof. I don't know. Ah, so this is a whole other section. This is the Elder Knoll. No, Elder Knoll. Grassy, grassy Knoll, no. Can I talk to anyone here? Low Chief Sugumu. Oh, you're the one with the hunt. Right, cool. 
Never did expect... Yeah, I'm surprised, like, a whole race of what looks to be fairly warrior-like tribe dudes can't handle the hunt, but okay, I guess we're gonna give it a go. Even if you are a child, cough. Hey, hey. Just because I got my ass beat by a gill snapper or two. Uh, I do know the Osman Plain, although not that well. A very valuable herb grows there. The Encolados, it tramples my precious herbs to dust. Oh, as you can see, I'm quite agitated. Normally the warriors of this village would vanquish it for me, but this time, well, suffice to say, I need you to do this. Why? Why is no one else fussed? Maybe no one gives a shit about your herbs, then. Alright. Warrior Hismu? Hes Hes he knows much of it. Find him standing guard at the bridge. Right, we'll, uh, we'll give him a talking to. See what he knows. The Encolados. The hunt begins, and hopefully this one will be bloody easier than the last few. Because it is only a rank 2 one, so we should be able to do it. Should being the key word. And uh, you know what? Before I... Oh, shit. Oh, no. We'll, we'll turn back. Before we go do this, guys, because... Yeah. Although, I don't know, actually. No, screw it. We are going to chat to the, the Elder first. This is more important than a bunch of herbs, isn't it? So let's do it. Nethysite. You have used it. It was not I who used it. Indeed, I had hoped you could show me how. Thus I've come. Hmm. You do not know the workings of the stone. Then we are no different. What? In ages past, the gods made a gift of Nethysite to my people. But, the manner of its use eluded us. Displeased by our failure, the gods took back their stones. They chose instead to give them to a Yum king. Called the Dynast King, he used the Nethysite's power to bring peace to a troubled time. It is a curious thing. Though the blood of King Wraith will flow through your veins, you cannot wield Nethysite. Cannot wield it? So then, am I to understand you can't tell me how to use the stone? Though it shame me so to admit, here before me stands a descendant of the Dynast King himself, and I can accord her no help at all. Still, even if you knew how to use the Nethysite, you would find it of small avail. The mist collected in the stone over ages past is lost, and with it, the stone's power. It will be your posterity who will the stone in ages yet to come. <sighs> this stone is devoid of power, empty, yet full of thirst. A terrible longing to drink the world dry. The power of men and of magic. Of good and of evil. It is often those who desire Nethysite whom the Nethysite itself desires. <sighs> oh! Fucking hell! Larsa? What the hell's he doing here? Shouldn't he have, like, royal bodyguards that don't let him out of the sight, or does he just sneak off really well all the time? To Barome, says. I say we ought leave tomorrow. I was going to wait for my escort to return, but meeting you here has presented a great opportunity. This terrible war can be stopped, but I will need your help to do so. A war? 
You know the Marquis Ondor leads a group of insurgents? Your pardon? He leads a large resistance force against the Empire. Lady Ash, neither of our countries can afford this now. The Rosarian Empire would stir. They would aid the resistance and use this aid as a pretext to declare war on Arcadia. And Arcadia would have no choice but to answer. Lady Ash, let us go to Bur Omasais. With the blessing of his grace, the Grand Kiltius Anastasis, you may rightly wear your crown and declare the restoration of the Kingdom of Dalmasca. As queen, you can call for peace between the Empire and Dalmasca and stop Marquis Ondor. Uh, for peace? How dare you say that? The Empire attacked us, stole all we hold dear, and you would have me save them from war? Dalmasca would be the battlefield. What if Nethesite were used on Rabinaster? You know my brother would do this. <sighs> Forgive me. I presumed over much. I could think of no other way to avoid bloodshed. If you cannot trust me, then please take me as your hostage. Rustler. You saw what? Him, didn't you? Like at the king's tomb. So you did see him too. But why? It's strange. Before, I didn't even know what you looked like. And the prince? I barely knew there was a prince. Who knows? Maybe the person I saw was my brother. Bosch told me about him. He enlisted right at the end. But for what? He knew he couldn't win. To protect something. How could he protect anything when he's dead? Was it different from Prince Rassler? Did that make sense? Hating the Empire, getting revenge, it's all I ever thought about. But I never did anything about it. I mean, I realized there was nothing I could do. It made me feel hollow, alone. And then, I'd miss my brother. I'd say stuff like, I'm gonna be a sky pirate, or some other stupid thing. Just anything to keep my mind off it. I was just... I was running away. I needed to get away from his death. That's why I followed you. You know what? I'm through with it. I'm through running. I'm ready to find my purpose. To find some real answers. Some reasons. If I stick with you, I think I will. I wish I knew. I'll find them. Okay, so actually, you know what? That was a decent scene. That, that was alright. Nice bit of uh, growth there for Varn and some weird still, I mean, uh, questions still not answered really about why he can see Rassler, but maybe it is his brother? I, I don't know. To Mount I had hoped you'd say yes. I'm glad. My heart is not set. I still have questions. I hope to find answers along the way. I had other reason to invite you. There is someone I'd like you to meet waiting on Bur Omasais. Who is that? An enemy. And an ally also. You will just have to wait and see for yourself. Hmm. That Larsa likes his secrets. <sighs> he does not mean ill by it. He's not bad. At least for an Imperial. Yeah, he's alright, Larsa. I like him. He's pretty cool. I much prefer him to Vane. God damn it. Holy Mo. 
Mount Buro Mises stands at the northern end of the Yagd Ramuda. Once we're in Yagd, we need not fear pursuit by their airships. Don't get your hopes up. You remember the Leviathan sailed straight over the Yagd Yensa, right up to Raithel's tomb. Yeah. Sky What's the point? works even in Yagd. You know, Nethersite's behind it. Little wonder they're so keen on the stuff. And what is it you're after, Balthier? You're a welcome hand and a great aid, but why? Worried I'm out to steal the Nethersite, eh? Can't say I'm unaccustomed to people doubting my intentions. Nothing could be further from my mind. Shall I swear by your sword or some such? Apologies. But I needed to know where you stand. Her Majesty depends on you. And you seem to have an interest in the stone. I'm only here to see how the story unfolds. Any self-respecting leading man would do the same. Yeah, you can't damn right. Ah, oh, some really nice, uh, you know, interactions there between the party. It's cool. Larsa is back as a guest. Not going as Lamont anymore. And I'm sure he'll be a big help as usual. So, you will leave. Uh, yeah, we will be back though. I still need to buy all of your stock from your shops. What are you going to give me? A killer bow and a quiver of onion arrows. We already have that stuff. If you ride a, ride a chocobo, you may. I've spoken with the Moogle. She will not charge you your first use. So, you've saved us 30 gil. Wow. Thanks, buddy. Take care, should it lead back to our land, you are welcome guests. Oh, well that's nice of him. I shouldn't, you know, shouldn't be ungrateful. That That is a token of uh, of generosity and goodwill, so, you know, we'll, we'll take the free ride on the Chocobo soon. Uh, but yeah, we have Larsa back now, he's level 23. So... Does he have any new abilities from when we last saw him? I don't know. He does have Cura. I don't know if he had that before. But that's cool. So, uh, we're just going to be on our way. We're going to go chat. Ah, before we do leave, actually. I'll quickly have a word with that guy about the, uh, the hunt. Didn't he say he was guarding the bridge? Oh, well, did he mean this bridge? Or did he mean the bridge going to the Elder... No, I don't know. Is it one of you guys? Oh, I can't talk to you. It must be you. Aha, yes. It can be found in the east of Osmond Plain in a place called the Shred. Going after and finding it are two different things. You must know the Enchilados detests the creatures known as the Wu. Oh, the Wu Tang Clan. To lure it out, you must first ride. Uh, ride. <laughs> you must rid the area of these woo. Okay. Alright, well that's a pretty useful tip, actually. I don't think I would have figured that out. Well, no, I would have done. I do kind of remember this hunt, but... I guess we'll uh, we'll go do that. So how do we get to this Buromises place? Have we figured that out yet? How are we going to get there? Which way do we go? 